Far to the east lies the Middle Kingdom, the homeland of great thinkers and incredible artists. The land of mighty rivers, majestic mountains, and mysterious forests. The legendary Temple of South Shaolin first appeared here hundreds of years ago. Its inhabitants perfected their ancient techniques for centuries, training the body, mind, and soul every day. Fearless monks defended the temple from both ruthless bandits and the terrible forces of darkness. But their greatest challenge was the invasion of the Wuku, pirates from the east who landed on the country's southern shores. When the government, mired in corruption, was unable to withstand the enemy's assault, the Shaolin monks decided to break their own rules and help. Joining forces with the Imperial Army, the monks managed to defeat the Wu-Ku troops at the cost of many of their own lives. Victorious, the monks returned to their monastery and life went back to normal in the coastal towns. However, for the young fisherman Wei Cheng and his village, trouble followed trouble, seemingly without end. Bandits again in less than a month! I must find Grandfather. He probably went to fight them on his own again.
Wait, Chong, go at once. You are no match for them. Oh, you bastard! Wei Chung lay bleeding to death in the middle of his plundered village. This was how our story would have ended if the Buddhist monks hadn't arrived in time. Making a stretcher out of their staffs, they placed Wei Chung on it and carried him for several days until they finally reached one of the local fortified houses. You have awoken at last. I am glad that my potions were able to help, for you were barely breathing when they brought you here. Who are you? How did I end up here? We are the monks of South Shaolin. I am Master Zongfei. On my left is Master Guan Li, the leader of our group, and Master Xuan Pai, his right-hand man. You are in our camp in an abandoned Tulu, not far from your village. Our scouts found you among the ruins and brought you here. Thank you. My name is Wei Chang. My grandfather was beside me in the village. Did he survive? I am sorry. We arrived when it was all over, and the village was nothing but a smoking ruin. You were the only survivor. Monsters. I will hunt them down and kill each and every one of them. Do you really think that these are normal bandits? We are sorry to bring you such sad news, but at least you are safe now. You are recovering quickly, and will be able to return to your relatives soon. Do you have somewhere to go? I lost my parents when I was still a child, and my grandfather raised me. The rest of my family lived in the same village. Fate has been harsh to you, Wei Chang. We will wait until you are fully healed, and then decide what to do. They cannot just toss you out onto the street. Hello, Wai Jin. My name is Lu Hai Bo. You don't look like a monk. Huh? <laughs> You're a sharp one. I am but a poor merchant, as well as the captain of the ship Sparrow Feather. We will meet the monks in the south, in the Fujian province. The same place where the Temple of South Shaolin is located? That's right. They needed a ship to get over to Zhenjiang. I didn't take any money for the service and ended up staying with them. I look after the weapons and help them get where they need to go. I don't have a crew right now, so the monks themselves are helping me sail the ship. The first combat sailors of Shaolin in the world. If you need any help during the battle, just call for me. I'm not Master Zheng Lung, of course, but I can certainly fight as well as you.